Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Welcome to another day of triathlon training. Dean, how are you doing? Good. So we're out this evening for a steady ride. Now those words and Dean don't normally go together, but he's keeping a lid on it up to yet. But there's a few lads out tonight who don't know the word steady. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, Dean, I don't want to intimidate you, but today marks the start of a new training block for me. Ooh. I'm training for crits. So tonight I've got to do a 10 second sprint and a 45 second max effort. So if you want to try and hang on, mate, you're more than welcome to. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah, so the idea is, is that for the next few weeks, I'm going to focus my training around crit racing. I've got a few crits left this year, so I want to give it a good shot, work on my weaknesses. And a 10 second and 45 second effort is something that I can repeat quite frequently without having to like taper into it and stuff. And I can do it just in the middle of a normal ride. So that's the thought process behind it. Uh, my coach James at Ride Harder has set me that because I basically said to him, you know, I want to in and amongst everything else, I want to try and be a jack of all trades. And he uses training peaks, the WK05 feature, which basically looks at your power curve and identifies weak spots. Now the whole thing is a weak spot, but the particular weak spot is my uh, short duration power. So that basically said, I think it said something like do a seven second and a 43 second effort. We basically just rounded it up to the nearest like five or 10 seconds. Oh, steady. And yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing, set a line in the sand. Yeah, then hopefully the idea is that over the next few weeks, I, I work on those sort of training zones, work on my short duration power, then I can retest it as well as testing it in races. So yeah, watch out, Mark Cavendish coming up. Um, I'm hanging off the back here because I really don't want to get caught up in going too hard. I want to get my specific session done. Let's go. Oh, effort number one done. 10 seconds. I need to hang further back there. The lads are sitting up, obviously waiting for me, but I say I'm doing, doing intervals. Leave me alone. Anyway, I think I did 10 seconds. It's hard to remember what time I set off on. Um, it could have been could have been 12 or 15, but it takes you a few pedal strokes to get on top of the gear, doesn't it? So anyway, I'm trying to recover and then give it another 10, 15 minutes. So on the next climb, I'm going to do my 45 seconds. That's going to be seated. The 10 seconds without the saddle, the 45 is going to be seated because generally the 10 second effort is like a sprint for the finish or getting a breakaway. The sort of 45 second one minute surges are seated, more efficient, more aero. I'm just more suited to it, I think. Oh dear. Okay, so in terms of power, I'm going to have a guess. I'm going to put the actual number on screen. So I'm going to guess that 10 seconds was about 8.50. I looked down and I saw 900 and something, but that wouldn't have been the 10 second average. I'm gonna hazard a guess at 850, but the number's on screen now. Um, for the 45 seconds, I'm gonna aim for 550, maybe a bit more than that, but we'll see how it goes. I think I, think I have done 530 for a minute. So I feel like there's a bit more in the tank, but then I haven't done this sort of effort like right, for a long time. So it's a bit of an unknown really. I'll probably start a bit too hard, but it's only 45 seconds, so how wrong can it go? Got one more descent, a little climb, and then a big climb. I'm going to do it on the big climb. Whew. Whoa, 45 seconds done. I'm a bit frustrated by that, to be honest. I was going up a hill and it flattened off a bit, about 20 seconds in. I went for another gear and didn't get it, and then I thought I'd try and get in the big ring, and it didn't shift to the big ring. So I felt like I had like one or two seconds of easier pedaling, but it probably was minimal. Again, I'll leave the stats on screen. I'm gonna go for 560 or 570 for that. I saw 600 a fair bit, so anywhere around there, 550 plus will be a bit chuffed. But I'll look at that when I get home. And I was gonna try and get my legs back and then actually join the lads for the rest of the social ride. That'd be nice. I'm torn to be honest between like trying to do these intervals indoors versus on the road. I'm a bit, I feel like indoors, I do my best ever numbers then I can't replicate them on the road. So I'm trying to test on the road, but then forever just coming across things, you know, gradient, gears, terrain, whatever, it just means that you can't get your best numbers out. So I think, well, which is better? I'm not really sure. Let me know down below though, do you test indoors, test, in, test outdoors? Oh, I don't really know what the answer is. I like using the same power meter so that I know I can do the same watts, but as I say, it's just, it's just not easy to replicate or to test. I probably should have gone out on my own, to be honest, if I wanted to do a specific effort, because I like I caught the lads about 25, 30 seconds in, and it's just something else to think about, like swerving around them, and not their fault, I should have hung back further. 
Whoa, anyway, I've got that done. Lying in the sand, revisit in a few weeks. So the thing is about all types of training really, not just triathlon. You've got to know when to go hard, you've got to know when to go easy. I've done my hard efforts for tonight. So when the lads are winding it up, winding it up towards the end as they do, could I have hung on? Maybe, probably not, but I didn't even try because there's no point. I think I, I think that's everybody. Told you not to win. <laughs> <laughs> is everybody alright? No worries, no problem. Yeah, there's just no point in me flogging myself, especially when I know that like I want to try and get back into running tomorrow. I want to have a decent ride out of the club tomorrow. Like you've always got to think about the next day, haven't you? But anyway, that is it for today's ride. I'm gonna put the overall stats on screen now, but hopefully those um those little bursts were okay. And that's it for today's video. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please do hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you tomorrow for I think tomorrow's gonna to be double training day. I think I'm gonna be running and riding, so I'll see you there.